Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. I'm joining the uh, Ellie. Oh, <laughs> joining the crew. I got a sweater on today. It's actually super windy. Feels like a storm. Hi. Oh, look at that duck. Today I cut up. Today I cut up some of my zucchini from my garden, Ellie, and we're bringing out all the extra, all the leftover. Ellie. Ellie just wants to eat it all. But the guineas are out and the turkey is out. Not all of them are out. I wish they'd all come out though. Where's the rest of the ducks? The ducks are all over there looking super cute. I love them, Ellie. <laughs> Look at the guineas. Aren't they so cute? Our friends gave us those, we hatched them. Look how cute. I'm obsessed. That's the boy, he is the gobble gobble. <laughs> Ellie thinks she's a chicken. Usually they really like the seeds, so I gave them the piece with the seeds in it, and I knew that that would be their favorite part. Oops, I really need to get a picture with my turkey on my head. Turkey. Her butt on my head. Is that the girl? Yeah, that's your turkey. That's the only one that jumps on you. Yeah, my little turkey. But anyway, we just decided to come out and give everybody a little treat. She is so stinking cute. Look at her listening. Hi, huh, baby. He's a toad. He always has a duck following around. Yeah. There's Toad over there. He's looking super cute. He's got his little friend there. So the boy ducks are actually doing really well together. In some breeds, in some species and breeds, you can't have a lot of boys together because they'll just fight. But the ducks actually have been so gentle with one another. The other ducks are over there too. Oh yeah, I wanted to bring my phone so I could take pictures too. So every once in a while, Sophie and I get into this photography mood and we want to take pictures of everybody. Been. Yeah, Sophie. So I have always loved photography and I have one son that loves photography. And then I have one daughter-in-law that loves photography. And I have Sophie. So uh, my son that does photography, he's the best at it. He's like, so good, holy moly. And there was a time that we all had fancy cameras, but I still have fancy cameras, but I lost the charger, so yeah. Anyway, I've been busy doing vlogging. Oh no, you lost your elastic out of your hair. <laughs> oh, she was gonna fly with the rooster, huh? Oh yeah, she fought the rooster. Oh. Ellie is a terrier through and through. Her whole personality is terrier-like, and I love it. She's actually does really good to try and control herself when she thinks somebody's doing something wrong. She's really good, but she's still a terrier, and she's still little. She's young, so every once in a while, a couple of nights ago, there was a, the rooster. She was just sitting beside me, and he attacked her. And now, because of that, it's on. So. <laughs> She just attacked the rooster. Yeah, that happened. But anyway, Sophie and I are gonna try and take some pictures of our pets. Penny. Of our loves. The one time she doesn't come here. Look at Penny looks so cute. I'm actually so grateful to have kids that are into the same stuff as I am in into. Like Gabby and Sam, identical people. Sophie and me, almost identical people. Gabby has a little bit of me in her. And Sophie has a little bit of her dad in her. What? Oh, Sophie gets really good pictures. Hi, ladybug. Hi. What's on her leg there? What's on her leg there? I know, she, Sophie's like, look how sweet she is. She's a hugger. So watch this, Sophie and I are all crouched down in the field taking pictures. The horses are all everywhere, big butts in front of me. And where's my dog? She could be running this whole field right here. She's always right by me. I was watching in the video, like a video I was editing oh, when Sophie went galloping and I was watching and Ellie literally was at my feet the whole entire time. And if I move forward, she would run forward. And like, it just, I don't know, it's, she's just amazing. This is what you look like when you wanna take pictures of your ponies. I'm so grateful though for a lady for being friends with Penny and teaching Penny that not all horses are bad. You should cry. Honestly, cry. <laughs> and that, my friends, is how the fences get ruined. Somebody pushes their butt right up against the fence and just scratches like crazy. 
She's like, how do I get to my girl? I want to take pictures of her. Let's see if, I've never been this far up in the field. Ellie, stay. Oh look, we could go into the other field, just climb this little fence. Oh, okay, so see, that's the, the chain link that borders our property. But through there is the one of the fields that Sophie galloped. <laughs> she's like, come on, help me get out. Oh my gosh, she's gonna try and get out. Don't do it, don't do it. This is, she's a destroyer. A destroyer of the property. Oh, don't do it. Sophie's like, here, I'll just take this down and she can jump through it. I really want to. This is how she gets scratches on her face. By trying to climb through places that she shouldn't be climbing through. She's a baby. Why else? She is such a baby. Like, it wasn't hard when she was a baby baby, but now she, I mean, it's, it's still not hard, but she is when a she character a, for sure. When she was a baby baby, her ears were back the whole time. Oh yeah, remember? She she has attitude. She definitely fully pinned back. Yeah, she definitely has attitude. She chases anything she can. She chases my dog. She chases the pig. Oh, Storm is on the run because Honey's leaving. She's running to her girl, so now Storm's going. And that's how we lose shoes, people. That's how. Good thing you didn't walk all the way down to the bottom of the hill. <laughs> oh, don't you come to me. Jesus. What the? What the? What the? <laughs> I don't like that. I'm trying. She's so excited. Hey. Hey. Leave my dog alone. You will not run. <laughs> See, that's what she does. It's like that two-year-old temper tantrum. <gasps> she won't run me over. She knows better. She Look. better. Hey, leave my dog alone. And the problem is, is that Ellie like gets excited because she likes to fight. <laughs> Yeah, so he's like, go do something fun so I can get good shots. She is so cute. Sophie, Sophie honestly has got the best picture. Yeah, treats like so even though Ellie is not perfect, when we're out in the field and we're dealing with animals that she thinks are, could be a threat to me, she's do, we're doing good, we're training. She's doing really well. Like she's doing so much better than ever before. She listens so much better than last year. And I've taught her to like sit between my legs when I'm in the field so that I can keep her safe from the other animals. You guys, oh, look. She likes love. Look at the view. Sophie's just telling me like, you know, people think Honey is a bad pony because she's a baby and she's just out there living her best life. <laughs> And it's true, and it's the same with kids. In the olden days, people used to say stuff like about parents, like, yeah, your kid doesn't listen, or if that was my kid, I'd make him listen. Well, that's not cool. Get your dog. And it's not cool anymore. And that's not in style anymore, and I'm so grateful it's not in style because it's not cool to ever make somebody behave the way that you want them to behave. like. There's so much more research now and so much more learning now and thankfully the world is changing and parents don't have to put up with that kind of attitude anymore and schools are changing and it's so different now. And it's a little different with horses because they could kill you. Honey's actually a really good for her age and all the things that she does and is able to do, but she definitely has that Appaloosa personality and she has her own agenda sometimes. like. Can't keep her in. She's a Houdini. She goes through every fence that we have. She can't go over it. She goes under it. I'm surprised she doesn't jump though. She's lazy. Yeah, she's lazy. She is kind of lazy. She's totally Appaloosa, you guys. She's stubborn. Like she has energy, but she doesn't use it. 
Yeah. Until she's chasing it out. She is because she uses so much energy in the field. Like she's just a busy little pony. She probably trots everywhere. She probably does. Well, she does when she sees us. <laughs> so he's like, wait, watch. You walk away and you're never going to be alone. She always follows. Go back with your friends. <laughs> We're done with you. <laughs> go quick. Go quick. <laughs> the amount of times I have to carry Ellie everywhere, you guys. She comes in the field with us and then I end up carrying her because I'm worried about her. I love how peaceful our horses are out in the field. And I love the way our herd is now. Like just literally, just literally three months ago, I was like, oh, our herd doesn't seem happy. I don't know what to do. We need another horse. We need a boy lady, horse. Got a lady and then everybody's happy. At least I was right. Like I thought we needed a boy horse, but apparently we just needed the right horse. I am a dying to ride in the fields with Sophie because My horse only came it looked so fun. No, your horse is a, your- That was slow. It was like an extended gal. It was extended canter. That was slow. Well, I have faith it felt slow. that uh, when she, uh, she gets more muscle, she'll be, I bet you that girl can go faster. I bet you she has more in her. Remember, like she she's like yo used to, she's still in transition. We're all still in transition. So I'm making orange lemon zucchini bread. Orange lemon zucchini bread. That's the first one I made. I'm going to put raisins in the next one. It is actually cold outside. Like I have goosebumps. I love it. Fall is my favorite season, you guys. My favorite. Is it really fall? No. <laughs> I know. This summer is flying by. Sophie said, it's already fall. It's not fall. It's not fall, but man, I need some. I just like, I love this kind of weather. Oh, my pumpkin's orange. Yeah, look at Sophie's pumpkin. It's starting to turn orange. Can go see tomatoes. Um, I don't know. There's a tiny one in here too. There's a few tiny ones that haven't started to turn yet. But one is turning orange. I love pumpkin for our animals. <laughs> Big guy. Look at how cute he's getting. See his little tail wagging? <laughs> Do you guys see it? Come on. <laughs> Come on, handsome. Isn't he so cute now? Like, I don't know what's changed. It's like he's white now. Do you guys see it? He's like, I don't even know what color he was when we got him, but he just seems cleaner somehow. Come on. He maybe has gained a little bit of weight though. My sister is super careful about his weight, was super careful, so I hopefully he didn't gain weight because she won't be very happy about that. <laughs> it's literally not my fault though because he goes outside and he steals everybody else's food. <laughs> Wait a minute. You're <laughs> Oh my gosh, how'd you get a grass stain on your butt? She is my goat. I know, but I do morning chores, you do nighttime chores. Chores, so I sit and give the baby her bottle. Anyway, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on the goats. Look at this little sweet baby. She is growing. So, oops, she is still tiny. If she was our, if she, if our goat had given birth to her, we would just let our goat nurse her for months and months and months because she was just a tiny little thing. But because she wasn't our goat, usually you wean them when you sell them, but she drinks milk so well, so it's just easier for us to let her drink milk as long as she'll drink it. So that's the plan with her. I've noticed, Tilly, stop trying to break in. I've noticed two different kinds of growth in goats. So see how she's kind of short and chunky? The goats that we bought, that Sam bought, and the goats that we first, the baby, the, our first babies, they all were really leggy and kind of narrow. So like they were tall, like their legs, their legs were long and they were kind of tall and they're not the best quality of goats. But then we bought like a bunch of registered goats and they're all short but they grow a different way. They grow like their bodies grow longer and then they, and then they're kind of more short and compact and they look a lot better and they look a lot better quality. So that's what, what she is. She's just a shorty compared to our other ones because she's a different kind of quality. You are trying to break the door down. Okay, listen you guys, listen. That is what happy goats sound like. Goats and pigs and chickens. And cats. 
and cats that are all fed and munching all their food. That's what they sound like. All we have left to do today is to just let our chickens out onto the front yard for a little bit before they go to bed tonight. I don't know why we do that. All I know because, um, is that we love it. It's like so much fun for us. Sophie said that we do it because every once in a while a chicken will come out the front here and it'll like breach the fence and we have to open the door for them to come to get back in. So we just open the door. Come on babies! Here they come! Isn't that so funny? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that little guinea. Don't you know?